Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How many jails and detention centers are there in the United States? Have you ever wondered how many places there are in the U.S. where people are held after being arrested or convicted of a crime? The answer is quite surprising. The United States has a vast and complex correctional system, which includes a wide array of facilities. Let's start with jails. Jails are short-term facilities operated by local governments, such as cities and counties. They primarily house individuals awaiting trial, sentencing, or those serving short sentences, usually less than a year. There are approximately 6,245 correctional facilities in total, and a significant portion of these are local jails. To give you a better idea, these jails handle a high turnover of inmates due to their short-term nature. They also detain people arrested for minor offenses or those awaiting transfer to other facilities. Because of this transient population, jails focus more on immediate management and less on long-term rehabilitation. Now, let's move on to prisons. Prisons are longer-term facilities run by the state or federal government. They typically hold individuals convicted of serious crimes and sentenced to more than a year. State prisons house the largest portion of the incarcerated population, with about 1.07 million individuals. Federal prisons, managed by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, house around 208,000 inmates. In addition to jails and prisons, there are also private prisons and juvenile correctional facilities. Private prisons hold about 150,000 inmates and aim to reduce costs and alleviate overcrowding in public prisons. Juvenile correctional facilities house around 25,000 minors, focusing on rehabilitation and education to reintegrate young offenders into society. Immigration detention centers are another type of facility. These centers hold individuals detained for immigration violations, with around 45,000 people awaiting deportation or legal proceedings related to their immigration status. According to recent data, there are more than 200 immigrant prisons and jails in the U.S., with the majority being privately run. To break it down further, Texas, Louisiana, California, Georgia, and Arizona are among the states with the highest number of people in immigration detention. These facilities face unique challenges, including medical neglect and other forms of abuse, which are frequently reported. In summary, the U.S. correctional system is vast, with over 6,000 facilities ranging from local jails to state and federal prisons, private prisons, juvenile correctional facilities, and immigration detention centers. Each type of facility serves a specific purpose within the criminal justice framework. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on. Get your snoop on.